Elizabeth, I earnestly beg you all to come home. I know my dear uncle and aunt so well that I am not afraid of requesting it. What father means to do, I am sure I know not. But my uncle Gardner's advice and assistance would be everything in the world. What is the matter? I beg your pardon, but I believe my uncle is here. I must find him this moment on urgent business that cannot be delayed. I have not an instant to lose. I will not detain you, but let me or the servant go after Mr. Gardner. You're not well enough. Uh, find Mr. and Mrs. Gardner. Bring them here with haste, but do not alarm them. Just sit down. A glass of wine. Shall I get you one? You're very ill. No, no, there is nothing the matter with me. I'm quite well. I am only distressed by some dreadful news I've just received from Longbourn. Tell me. You may trust me. It cannot be concealed. My youngest sister has left all her friends, eloped, and thrown herself in the power of Mr. Wickham. They've gone off together from Brighton. You know him too well to doubt the rest. She has no money, no connections, nothing which could tempt him to marry her. She is lost forever. <laughs> when I consider I might have prevented it, I who knew what he was, and I would explain some part of it only. But it is all too late. I am grieved. But it is certain. Oh, yes. They've been traced almost to London. Certainly not to Scotland, where such marriages take place. My father has gone to London, and my uncle I know will want to help him. We shall all be off. It's no use. Nothing can be done. I have not the smallest hope. It is horrible. <laughs> Would to heaven that anything could be either said or done on my part that might offer consolation to such distress. But I will not torment you with vain hopes which might seem to require your thanks. This unfortunate affair will, I fear, prevent my sister from having the pleasure of seeing you at Pemberley today. Be so kind as to apologize to Miss Darcy. Say that urgent business called us home immediately. Conceal the unhappy truth for as long as it is possible. I fear it cannot be long. You have the assurance of secrecy. I hope the matter may be more happily concluded than you have at present reason to hope. I will now leave you to the care of your relatives. Eliza. Is the matter? 